Mantu arts are the most effective martial art. I would cite the Battle of Kadesh or any other logically relative battle where one group didn't have the high ground or some kind of advanced weapon and was able to mash on another ethnic group. Period. There is no example. Alexander the Great doesn't come close. What he did does not come close. We're talking about a straight battle where the smaller group is ambushed, not the smaller group tactically takes advantage with superior weaponry and tactics. No, no, no. They were ambushed, and their tactics were superior only because of Mantu arts, which are the superior martial art. Even if you look at the, the fight science on National Geographic or whatever it was, you had a blonde lady and a blonde guy standing in a martial arts stance who sees himself as a white martial arts. So he's, he has a bias, he's discriminatory, and he's a racist. Let me tell you why. Because he set up the environment where Latif couldn't do his dance properly to build up the momentum to show you his relative most powerful strike. They specifically said most powerful strike. You know that skinny white guy, uh, whatever his name was, did not have anywhere near the, the, the potential of striking as hard. That's why black people are the top martial artists and, and top boxers to this day. Do I really got to explain it to you? How Rampage Jackson would tear that guy apart and how I would tear apart Rampage Jackson and how I put money on the internet saying who can beat me and no one has even bothered to answer even though at least a dozen studios have heard about it by now. It's been eight days and there are a lot of them are watching these kind of things with their family members. You know, trust that. Now, what had happened is the old out of shape Japanese guy was the worst obviously because they're trying to, you know, pit people against each other in a certain way. They had a little platform to use so he had to jump off. Instead of dancing around and bow, he was kind of like lump bow. And so the other guy, he, he does a roundhouse, right? I can roundhouse harder than that white guy for the record. But anyway, he roundhouse kicks and he hits with his toe. Latif hits with the flat of his foot and does not build momentum. And then this other white guy who obviously is on their side, even though he does Muay Thai, his interest is in proving the greater white power structure's point, not the true point, which Africans obviously beat everyone else up, and that's why they ended up in other places, and Africans ended up where the resources are in one place, in Egypt, in Africa. And they didn't come, until th come back till thousands and thousands of years later because they didn't have the heart until they plotted in caves and in the mountains somewhere. Everyone knows how it really went, so stop twisting things, okay? Stop twisting things, okay? The legends are Tyson, Mayweather, okay? Uh, Sugar Ray. You know, not, not some white guys. What the hell are you talking about? None of those guys could ever see us, period. Period. Show me a prison riot where one white guy takes on ten serenios like the Pelican Bay riot. Show me, I mean... There's so much proof that we are the master race, if anybody. If anybody. If you're going to say one race comes out on top intellectually, obviously it's the Egyptian achievement of black Africans. If you're going to say one spiritually, obviously it's the Egyptian achievement of black Africans. If you're going to say physically, Afro-Caribbeans, African-Americans, other Africans, Nigerians, Ethiopians, have shown you, you know, Egyptians have shown you, Nubians, that, that too. No matter how you look at it, logically, any scholar would flat out tell you, yeah, black people not only have the most right to be here, but are the most spiritual, most intellectual, and most physically fit to live on this planet.